Facebook page. As you've been noticing on our page for the last several months, we've been highlighting uh, different products and services that we offer during the month. Uh, we just finished up for the month of September and the first couple of weeks in October a 239 flathead build that we have finished and uh, got it running and ready to go to the customer. So in keeping with that theme, what we're going to do for October, actually uh, October's done, and what we're going to do for November, uh, October's almost gone, so we're, we're into November now, more time flies. So in November, we're going to highlight a build that we're doing for a customer based off of a 6.2 liter LS engine. So in factory stock form, this engine is a 3622 stroke with a 4.065 bore. So what we're going to do uh, for this customer, we're going to put a 4 inch stroke crankshaft in it. We're going to take the bore out to 4 inches 075, which is going to make this thing roughly 416 cubic inches. So uh, talk a little bit about the components that we're using and the block that we have uh, to kind of get you up to speed of, of what a LS uh, 6.2 liter is. First of all, it's an aluminum block, uh, four bolt main. This aluminum block all has steel sleeves in it, so we've taken these sleeves and uh, uh, taken them from 4065 out to 4 inches 075 in the bore. So basically 10 thousandths oversized bore. Can't go much more than that on these sleeve blocks because uh, you run into issues of uh, cylinders getting too thin. But anyway, uh, so we're updating the main uh, bolts to ARP studs. Uh, you can see these in the block. And what we have done this morning, uh, we have installed all of the main bearings that we're going to be using. We've put everything back in it and we've got it all torqued back down to spec. So we have actually gone in and measured our clearance here. And then we've measured over here the same uh, clearances on the crankshaft. And it's just a, a simple mathematical equation of the, the deducting or subtracting what the crankshaft measurement is from the inside diameter measurement of these bearings. And that will give us uh, the clearance, the oil clearance, so that we know what it is. I like this uh, procedure a little bit better than I do uh, plastic gauge. Plastic gauge will get you in the ballpark and it's good for regular uh, just street engines maybe that people are building, people that do it on their own. Here, uh, this is going to be a, a very performance engine. It's going to be supercharged. This engine is going to be based off of the, basically the same platform as the Z06 Corvette is, which is uh, a 6.2 liter with a supercharger on it from GM. This build is going to have a supercharger added to it. So... When you do a supercharger add, there's certain things that you have to allow for, uh, and one of them being a lower compression in the engine uh, as far as the piston configuration. So what we're doing on this one, and I'll show you a piston. So this is uh, one of the pistons that we're using. Uh, it's, a, it's an inverted dome. As you can see it here. It's got the big valve release cut in it. So this will lower the compression down to about 10 to 1 uh, so you can run a supercharger on it. Now this particular piston is, uh, is from SCAT uh, Enterprises. We're using a SCAT rotating assembly in this particular build. So the piston, the crankshaft, which you see here, and the connecting rods. So this piston is actually uh, SCAT sells race tech pistons. It's a 4 inch 075 bore. It's a minus 10 cc inverted dome uh, to help get the compression down. It's you know, a little bit lower for the to compensate for the supercharger. So that is the piston that we're going to use. Now these are the connecting rods. Uh, we're going to use an H-beam 
6125 length rod uh, in this engine. As you can see, it's, it's, the beam is, is designed like an H. It is a floated pin rod. In other words, the, the pin goes into the rod and actually floats in, inside of the rod for, for reduced friction. Now we have also, uh, and one other thing, it does come with the 8740 ARP upgraded bolts, which is a very high strength bolt. Uh, it's a approximately uh, 200 PSI, uh, 200,000 pound PSI strength bolt. Uh, because you don't want a rod bolt breaking in this in this kind of application because there's going to be a lot of pressure uh, on the crankshaft and the rods when you uh, when you got that supercharger involved. So what we have done uh, with these connecting rods, we have also gone in and installed the rod bearing. As you can see, it is installed in in the rod. We have torqued this down. These rods torque to 64 foot pounds, and then we've gone in and measured the inside diameter of this connecting rod with the bearing installed. And then we've come over here and we've measured the OD diameter of the rod journal itself. And it's a, again a simple math equation of deducting the, the size of the rod journal from the inside diameter of the connecting rod with the bearing installed and that gives us a number that we're looking for as far as oil clearance goes. So we shoot for you know, LS uh, tolerances, oil tolerances are a lot tighter than the, than the uh, older GM version of the 350s. So we've got the number where we want it. Uh, and people say, well, how do you get to that number? Well, there's different ways you can do it. You can adjust bearings. If you got too much, you can get a, a half thousandths oversized bearing and install to close that up. Or if it's, uh, if it's not enough, uh, you can polish the crankshaft a little bit and get it down. But these particular ones, and that's why we like using scat rotating assemblies, is their tolerances are very tight. Uh, they're uh, actually uh, very precision. The crankshafts are ground very precision. And the numbers that we're looking for on this particular build, we've, we've got the numbers that we're looking for. So we're, uh, we're satisfied with our main bearing clearance number and our rod bearing clearance number. So. We're, uh, we're going to start moving forward with this build. So, with that being said, uh, the next stage will be uh, putting the crankshaft in it, putting the camshaft in it. A uh, customer has got his camshaft. Uh, it's going to be around a 640 lift camshaft uh, going in there. Of course, they're rollers. All your late mall stuff is a hydraulic roller. So, this is the build that we're going to feature during the month of November. Uh, we've already balanced this rotating assembly. Uh, we order all of our rotating assemblies unbalanced because we would rather balance them ourselves. I think we hold, uh, we hold a much tighter uh, tolerance in our balancing than, than maybe some of the other uh, manufacturers do. Uh, we actually have got this one down to less than one gram uh, plus or minus on the balance of something. And that's already been done. Uh, as you can probably see here, uh, David, zoom in on it. So you can see where we've balanced it here. Uh, got a couple holes in the, in the rear journals. And then in the front journal, uh, we got a couple holes in those and just a real small one right there just to get that final touch that we were looking for. Now this particular uh, build is a 58 tooth reluctor wheel. Uh, basically the earlier models came 24. All 6.2s as far as I know came 20 or came 58. So this is actually a 58. So uh, we're uh, getting our components all gathered up and uh, we're going to get started on this thing. Hopefully uh, as we go along we'll probably do four maybe five segments of this build and We'll kind of keep you uh, keep you in the loop. We'll probably do one of these every week, uh, as we've been doing in the past, and then this kind of lets you see uh, what goes in to uh, building a a really high performance LS engine. You know, this engine will probably make in excess of 650 horsepower, so uh, it's uh, going to be a very high performance build. Uh, it's got nice heads that are going on it, nice 
camshaft that's going in it. Uh, we're going to put a very uh, a very upgraded oil pump in it. A lot of LS engines, you kind of hear people complain about their rattles on and they have low oil pressure in some of them. Well, to avoid that, we're going to put a billet uh, aluminum aluminum billet oil pump in it from Melling. So uh, that's one of the things we're going to do. So I hope you enjoy this build. We're looking forward to it. We'll keep you uh, updated the weekly and kind of let you see what we're doing and how it's going and kind of let you uh, let you in on the process of uh, what it takes to uh, build one of these engines. We hope you enjoy it. Uh, have a good day and we look forward to seeing you next week.